Pop Times, Queen Elizabeth scolded the royals. As we've already seen, the Queen did not care too much for her grandson Harry's partner, Meghan. While she undoubtedly was not looking forward to the marriage going ahead, she became rather upset with Harry during the planning process of the ceremony. Things were rough right from the get-go when Harry initially asked the Archbishop of Canterbury to marry him and Meghan before consulting the Queen and the Dean of Windsor, which is a big no-no. Following on from that, Harry and Meghan decided that they did not want to use the Queen's staff for the wedding planning and decided to bring in their own florist and cake maker. While the Queen seemingly let this slide despite her displeasure over the whole situation, the final straw came when Meghan unveiled the tiara she was going to wear which did not meet the Queen's standards. A source revealed that this resulted in the Queen calling Harry into a private meeting for a royal dressing down to voice her displeasure with the planning of the ceremony. Kate Middleton's topless photo. While all of the royals are well known for their fashion choices and high society wardrobes, the queen was less than impressed with her granddaughter-in-law due to a very non-royal photo of the Princess of Wales. During a vacation to the south of France in 2012, royal paparazzi managed to snap a photo of a topless Kate Middleton while she was sunbathing. This was obviously never going to go over well with the Queen as the photo went against the royal family's morales and earned the Princess of Wales a bit of a talking to from her grandmother-in-law. This also happened not long after the wedding of William and Kate, so this was not a good moment for a relationship that was still in the building stages. It wasn't the first time the Queen has voiced her displeasure with Milton's fashion choices either, as she has noted on numerous occasions that she is not a fan of her short dresses that have led to some wardrobe malfunctions in the past. The Royal Chef Yes, even though he wasn't actually a part of the royal family, Darren McGrady had one of the most important jobs in the United Kingdom, preparing food for the British royals. While McGrady was obviously very good at his job and served the royals for a very long time, he revealed in a YouTube video that he once made the Queen rather upset with one of his menu selections. McGrady explained that the Queen communicated with her chefs through the Menu Royale, a red book that gave the chefs three days notice when they needed to prepare a menu for an upcoming event. If the chefs wanted to try a new dish, the Queen asked them to fill out the recipe in the book so she can give it her former approval. But during one menu item approval, the Queen seemed to be a little cross over a Scandinavian dessert that translated to Veiled Farmer's Daughter in English. The Queen actually sent a written letter back to McGrady asking what or who are the Veiled Farmer's Daughters? Thankfully, McGrady was given a second chance to provide the recipe to the oddly named dessert and it became a household favorite for a long time. Upset with her TV counterparts. While The Crown was an excellent Netflix series that aimed to paint a picture of what life was like within the royal family throughout the 20th century, not everything in the show was 100% accurate. While the Queen actually stated that she was an avid fan of the show and quite enjoyed the first season, there was a scene from the program's second season that made her a little upset. In episode 9 of season 2, Elizabeth's son Charles is shown struggling at his new boarding school that was selected for him by his father Prince Philip. Following an incident where Charles was bullied at his new school, Philip can be seen telling his son that he is bloody weak. Elizabeth stated that her husband Philip was a very caring man who would always take the time to help his children. It seems like the crown may have lost a very important fan after this incident. She grew tired of Harry and Meghan's complaints. While the queen was well known for keeping her composure and having a very long fuse, even her patience was put to the ultimate test when it came to Harry and Meghan's relationship. In a new book published by royal correspondent Robert Jobson, he stated that the Queen believed that Harry and Meghan had lost the plot. The Queen has always been very supportive and caring towards her grandson, but she couldn't seem to support him anymore as she labeled him and his wife Meghan Markle quite mad. While Jobson confirmed that Elizabeth had great affection for her grandson, he stated that she had revealed that she just couldn't handle his complaints any longer. While the Queen initially supported Harry and Meghan even after they announced that they wanted to give up their royal duties, she eventually stated her grandson's love for Meghan was clouding his judgement. While there were a couple of bright spots between the Queen, Harry and Meghan, it's sad to see this relationship was never truly fixed before the Queen's unfortunate passing. And there you have it.